So anybody who ever actually used any kind of VR device, whether it is the Oculus Quest or the HTC Vive, even, I think, if I'm not wrong, even the PlayStation, you would know about this game called Beat Saber. It, it literally is the, the virtual reality evolution of Guitar Hero Rock Band, where instead of playing instruments, you use Jedi swords, or something that looked like Jedi swords, to slash and hack bunch of bricks with arrows to music. It, it is really a blast. It, I, if you haven't used it, then you listen to my explanation. I have not done justice for it. But the interesting side effect to it, and usually what I focus on, is that it's quite amazing for cardio. Then again, there's a new app, software, workout, um, exercise app slash game called Supernatural that has been created sort of on that model where a lot of people say that they're simply replicated and they've not done much change. It, it is, it does come with incredible views, you, you don't hit bricks, you hit a different kind of targets with baseball bats instead of Jedi swords, but at the end of the day, it kind of feels the same. It kind of feels the same experience as Beat Saber, and it comes with this crazy price tag of $19 per month. Unlike uh, Beat Saber, it costs $34 one time and you're done with it. Here you pay $19 or $19.99 every month, and a lot of people are pooing it. Why would you want to upgrade to Supernatural? Now, Supernatural is selling a lot about their uh, original music and the trainers and the views, which I quite frankly find to be really useless. Um, when I play this game and I'm busy and I'm getting tired, I don't care about the views. The trainers are not actually commenting on what are they doing. They're, they're telling the same story, so um, defeats the purpose of actually listening to a trainer because he's actually not paying attention to what you're doing, which is a waste. And oh, the oh, the the music aspect of it, the original music, I do enjoy them. I find the Beat Saber tend to be more techno, at least the version that I've been that I've been playing with. But there's two major aspects to, to Supernatural that most people are not paying attention to, and they're crucial differentiators that actually make me excited about playing Supernatural and not so excited about Beat Saber. 